What's up guys, it's BD here, and uh, these have caused quite a stir recently. The Glorious Holy Panda is now renamed to the Glorious Pandas. I think that was the right move by them, and if you guys don't know what happened, there's a bunch of drama going on with the name. I get both sides as this is a business, right? Glorious is a business, they have to trademark the name to protect themselves when selling these switches in a mass market and retail. But I also get the community side, as these were a switch that was made up by the community. It was a Frankenstein switch, and that's how it started off, and the Holy pandas are so highly regarded and they have a huge backing for it as being one of the best switches of all time uh, it was going to cause a stir when they did that so glorious has always been one of those companies that is like the anti-mainstream mainstream company now they're trying to provide the lowest prices for products that most of us at one point stopped and thought to ourselves does it really cost this much to produce this product? At the end of the day, our pockets will benefit because it'll drive down the prices of some of these said products. And let's be real, there's a lot of companies using Holy Pandas as their standard for switches promising to give a similar experience, if not better. And uh, they've all fallen short in my opinion. Now these are running for $25 for 36, so you'll need about two packs for the 60 or 65%, three packs for a TKL or four for a full size keyboard. That roughly comes to about 69 cents per switch glorious really lucky number 69 all right that's what we're going with today and that's compared to a dollar and 20 cents for the Envir drop switches so right there you can already see a huge difference in price almost double okay so holy pandas are normally made with the Envir housings which glorious claims they have the original moldings for as well as the leaves that provide that smooth holy panda bump that we all know and love the top housing is made out of polycarbonate and the bottom is made out of nylon. Holding both switches in my hands, if my eyes were closed, I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Okay, the only way I'm able to do that is by the color of the Glorious housing. And of course, it has the Glorious name now on the top. So the OG Holy Pandas were originally made with the Halo True stems. And this is where Glorious had to deviate and make their own stem with the claim that there's gonna be less pre-travel for the bump to occur. Um, holding them side by side, they are almost identical. The spring weights are both 67 grams. When you compare the two, they're both plate mounted switches. So I started off my testing by making some Frankenstein switches to test the similarities between the two switches. For these tests, I'm using the drop off because I believe most people would be using this board or something similar like the Glorious GMMK. So first I'm gonna show you guys what each one sounds like, then I'll throw up on the screen what I swapped out in each test. First to drop Envir Pandas, the tactile bump feels more drawn out and more tactile overall with a more aggressive return. The Glorious Pandas feel slightly lighter and smoother at the same time. The sound is a bit deeper on the Envir Pandas as well. On the Frankenstein switches where I just swapped out the bottom housing, the feel seemed to follow the stem leading me to believe that the leaves are near identical and I can hear a slight difference in sound between the housings uh, just slightly. The bottom on the nylon housing of the Glorious just feels a little bit smoother and it's a little bit quieter even when I put the Envir stem into it. I think different grades of materials were used here. Obviously, they're not gonna be one-to-one. -one. They're not gonna be using the exact same things and I think that just makes sense because the colors of the switches are different. So let's drop a sound test of both on a full keyboard. Which one did you guys prefer? Let me know down below. I still prefer the original Holy Pandas, ultra, super, gigantic, tactile feel. But 
and that's a big but. For damn near half the price, these glorious pandas are no slouch. They provide an experience so damn close that I feel like most people are gonna be happy with the glorious pandas, especially if you don't want to wait half a year for your switches to get here. So next up, I just did some lubing on both the switches and did 3203 lube. Uh, so let's drop a sound test for you guys to check out what those sound like. So let's sum up what I think about both. Uh, unlubed, I like the Glorious Pandas more. After lubing both, I like the Holy Pandas more, the OG ones. So I kind of see a place for both of these switches. So the Glorious Pandas are gonna be great for people that don't want to lube as they are easily a top tier tactile switch stock. And the Holy Pandas are good, but need a little bit of love in the form of lube to unlock their full potential. I would put the Glorious Pandas over the Zelio switches. Yes, I said it, especially for the price. So I'm thinking about doing a follow-up video to this video where I show off the sound profile of the Glorious Pandas versus a lot of the other top tier uh, tactile switches like the Novel Keys Blueberries, the Everglides, the Holy Pandas, uh, the Zelio switches, maybe some T1. So let me know if that's something you guys will be interested in seeing down in the comments. So next up, I wanna talk about this theory that came to my mind while I was testing seeing these glorious pandas and that theory is that everything in life is a remix of something that came before it let me explain so we are all influenced by others but since we are unique and can never fully copy someone in the pursuit of being influenced we create our own unique take and in this case glorious has created something that's not a one-to-one -one with the original holy panda but something new a holy panda that removes some of that scratchiness and creates a smoother experience that doesn't really need to be lubed. As a stock switch, these are my favorite tactiles, but lubed, I still prefer the original holy pandas, super tactile feel. So if you want something that's readily available, you're not gonna have to wait half a year for, only $50 to fill up your 60 or 65% keyboard. I don't know why you would go above that, but uh, that's a story for another day. But for $50, these are an absolute steal. If you're on the fence about pre-ordering, put that pre-order in. These can go, I, I'm thinking about putting these on some of the customs, the, the high-end customs that I have coming. That's how good I believe these are. Uh, lastly, I know that people are going to ask me if these are good for gaming, and yes, they are. Uh, switches are a personal preference, but I'll give you my two cents on what I found lately. In games like Valorant, I really like that tactile feel because it lets me know when I'm actuating the switch or not. This is really important when I'm counter strafing or coming to a dead stop. I know exactly when I let up off of a switch or press down on a switch so i really really and i've even seen some of my favorite players actually switch over to clicky switches recently so maybe they're on to something maybe the pros know something that we don't us mere mortals don't know all right guys so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video on the glorious pandas how do you guys feel about the whole situation are you happy that they are bringing these in for a lower price do you agree do you not agree do you think they should have just called it the uh, glorious tactile switches uh let's talk about it in the comments all right it has been your boy bt don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video peace oh yeah